Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophynet and welcome back to Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine expansion and uh, in an effort to finding that love, the Beast of Beauclair. And uh, dear friends, dear vampire friends to our uh, vampire friend Regis here, uh, we're gonna try and turn Regis into a furious monster for some reason. Not really sure this why place. we have to, There's but... Evil here. Death hangs in the air. It's apparently needed yes. for uh, making that resonance potion. Right many beings have read their last here. Okay then. In the previous, ep previous episode, we also uh, leveled up, so I'm gonna spend that ability point quickly now. Let's go to character and use that point on the dodging immunity. There we go. Upgrade that. I'm still doubting whether I should uh, swap anything. But for now, I like protective coating and the uh, poison blades. So I don't think I really have another option here. Hmm. Maybe I should remove the Igni intensity and swap that out for... No, 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 that was not what I wanted to do. For the dodging skill. There we go. So that kind of lowers our Igni intensity... And our normal intensity, our sign intensity as well. Glyphs are carved into the rock. Coated with blood used to be. They mean something? The emblems, wow. Symbols of... Uh, it's a hand. What you would call tribes. Dispersed throughout the world after the conjunction. My ancestors placed them here to remind us all where we came from. Tesha Mutna Boots and Tesha Mutna Mask. Interesting. And a lot Sense. more of those... Signs. Disgraceful. Excruciatingly so this particular page wise. I'd rather not summon the demons of the past if it's with you. It's alright with me, alright. Ooh, silver emerald ring. I'm gonna loot this place, hopefully Regis doesn't mind. Transcript of a conversation with a lower being. Between Master Ezehiel Hildegard and a human being. Who are you? My name is Alex Biscon. Why is all you your skin trembling? I'm scared, sir. You're scared? I don't understand. You don't know what fear is, sir? No, I have mastered your language, yet some concepts are beyond me. What is fear? It's a feeling that destroys every other feeling. It controls your head and your heart. What do you mean? I thought it was a kind of pain. I've carried out tests in my laboratory on people, and I discovered that a mother subject to appropriate stimuli is able to forget about her child and think only about how to avoid pain. So fear would be similar to pain? No. Pain rules the body, but fear is born in the heart. Oh yes, what you say is very interesting. I think it will have I will have to examine your heart in the laboratory. What do you mean? Examine. I mean, examine, take it out and subject it to a proper examination. But sir, that would kill me. Yes, your mortality is a great inconvenience, but it was not me who created your species and I am not responsible for its excessive frailty. The conversation was carried out in human language and such it was written down. The transcription does not need translating. Okay, and who wrote it down then? Oh, and this must be the guy then, that lost his heart. Ooh, there's another letter here as well. Notes of a Tesha Mutna prisoner. I found a piece of parchment that fell from the pocket of one of the monsters. I also have a lump of coal. I would write this in my own blood, but I have hardly any left. I am cold. Every third day they come and open my veins, after which I cannot move. I can't go on much longer. From the next cage I hear the howls of terrified people. If I had the strength, I would smash my head against the bars. I hope it won't go on much longer. Alois from the next cage, the cage next to me, died yesterday to drank him to death. The drank, the drank him to death. They drank him to death, probably. This must have ir irritated them because I heard him them arguing in their strange language. They brought new people this morning. You could say that a supply of fresh blood arrived. They have no idea what they are in for. My only comfort is that I know already, and I won't have to live through the terror that I felt, felt the first time they came for me. I had no idea what they wanted until they pulled out their shiny instruments. 
I have never seen such beautiful metal. My blood glistened at purple silvery the purple silvery color in those instruments. Okay, this is not a happy place. More stuff here and the gauntlet, so now only we only thing we have left is the armor, I think. What is that noise? Why did we drop down? This is bad, isn't it? We're deep underground because we kept going down. Charming okay. Place. But what are all those cages for? Mentioned one vampire being kept here. Yes, well, you see, humanitarians is something my ancestors were not. They concluded Kagmar would best be punished if he were tormented with the scent of blood he could not taste. Oh, wow. Thus, they also That's kept sadistic. humans here. Humans whose blood they slowly let. Kagmar ranted and raged in pain as those, those humans slowly bled to death. They treated them like livestock. Live bait. I'd like to be able to turn back time. Deny it, but alas, I can do neither. Feel shame for my brethren. There goes his belt. That's all I can do. Don't take it so hard. Nothing you could have done about it. Let's get to work. So, what I said before about vampires, I take that back. Sorry. They're not really I nice. the bait. Please be so kind and place it. Ideally at the tunnel entrances. The scent will spread most effectively then. Okay. But we just came for that. Place the bait at the tunnel entrances. Monsters will catch its scent more quickly. When I think how these tunnels got here, send shivers. It was the natural order of things. The place reeked of death and it attracted necrophages. That's an anarchy sign, isn't it? Um, can I? I don't get the prompt to put it down. Maybe I should. Nothing doing. I'm not doing anything. Oh, there it is. I saw it. I saw the prompt. There we go. That wasn't easy. Okay, so that's two. Let's take a look around in this room as well, because... I start hearing things. Three well, done. One left. Think this will work? I certainly hope so. I mean, stench is so thick, I wager it carries clear to Novigrad. Okay, I'm just looking around to see if I didn't miss any loot. So this is the last place, I wager. Another one of those annoying thingies. Maybe I should... There we go. Oh, so that's what I needed to do. Yeah, that was stupid. Never mind, there's a pretty symbol on the floor here as well so that's tell Regis we're ready here we go bait set what now I shall probably our death cage. you must chain me inside the bars are made of an alloy that will prevent me from transforming into mist okay then kind of it doesn't look like that to. I should be in great pain my sole thought being to stop that pain I cannot know what I will do Okay, Regis, take it easy. He's sacrificing a lot for uh, for us. We must hurry. The beasts have caught the scent of us on my head. I started spinning. And his voice is getting darker as well. Someone who's never experienced a vampire's bloodlust does not know the true meaning of thirst. Here we go. I still don't 100% understand why he's doing this. Maybe Kill monsters until bloodless transforms no, reaches into a monster. Can't take it anymore. And what would you do once I utter the... Don't know. So sorry, I needed to block that, but I'm gonna use the necrophage oil. Against those scurvers. Calm you down. Something happens. Oh shit! You won't be able to. You must force through this. That is all. So they're gonna 
triggered each other. There we go. Is something changing already? No. I hear something bigger. Yeah, there's something bigger, all right. Holy shit, what's that? Holy shit! Yeah, lost, lost my shield there. It grows. Leader. Good. Jesus Christ. So that rock being exploded. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of them. Oh shit! That was not supposed to happen. I'm gonna try and kill that fleeter first. So the fleeter is down. And there's more. More fucking shit. Oh shit. Is that a vampire? Yep, yeah, that's another vampire. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Oh shit! I'm gonna try and take out one of those skurvers. going? Yeah, he's going. Okay, so that took out a few of the ghouls as well. Hold on, I'll let you out. Seriously, there's still two monsters running around in here. Oh, there's the Akimara. Uh-oh. I don't, don't, don't let him out. Wow. Regis, calm down. Okay. So we've got us enraged. Blood. Try in a few hours. Sent one other. He even stopped. Stop talking to us. Okay. His hands turn back to normal. Take it easy, Regis. Oh, there he goes. You wouldn't say he's a, a very powerful being right now. You can't finish it in this state. Tell me how. I'll help you. It looks just like the White's soup.
Any better? Far from ideal. And some time must pass before I fully recover. But yes, a bit better. Thank you. Damn. Let's talk what happened back there. Never expected it to be like that. You didn't tell me. We need not discuss it. But we do. Because if I'd known you were going to subject yourself to torture... What would you have done? Found dead like Refused? I did not wish you to use any other way. Did that occur to you? No. Because I thought no being would ever willingly subject itself to that kind of pain. You vampires aren't any different from us in that regard. I told you. The pain is my way of paying my debt. The enormous debt I owe Detlaf. <sighs> if I had to do it again, I would in a heartbeat. Okay. We finished it. Resonance. It's ready. Are you certain you followed the formula? The proportions were exact, the brewing time precise. This is important, Geralt. The slightest deviation could cost even a witcher dearly. Relax. Got some experience brewing potions. Indeed we have. In that case, let's begin. Okay. This is gonna be something. Let's see why that laugh has uh, turned so angry. Because that's what all this is about. We're going to try and find out in the, the tissue memory of Datloff what happened to him. Ooh. That doesn't look good. Take it easy, Geralt. There we go. A white screen in my face. Excuse me. I shall only take a moment. You jump the queue, sir. But Count, sir, you must understand. I've a meeting. The Count. Sir, you were next. Please take a seat. This gentleman was here first. Step down or you shall regret it. Ah, <laughs> fails to realize he was your friend, Count. So he got a bit angry because of that, but. Another reason to uh, to be angry at the man, but maybe something else happened. It was then I ordered him to give up his seat and step off the stand. If only you'd seen his face. We got him good, didn't we, Detlam? Indeed you did. What was that note? Then mother insisted we buy the mill. <laughs> Curious, eh? Okay. So you bought a mill together with that laugh. So that laugh was apparently friends with this count. A wealthy Nilfgaardian, probably. But at least I've a yarn to spin for friends and associates. Forgive me. Forgive you what? for what? Okay. That was oh, okay, so that was the, the second murder. He cut off his own hand in a fit of rage? But why? He clearly enjoyed being with the man, but... And hasn't given us any reason to it. Awake at last. You ride like a squirrel caught in a snare. I'd begun to fear they were death throes. That you'd... departed. <clears throat> we're fine. Uh, uh, sure wasn't pleasant, but it worked. 
What did you see? Delacroix. His death did not come easy. Seems dead laugh had made friends with him. Still killed him. Chopped up his corpse. And he was overcome with fury. Remorse. Cut off the hand that had committed the murder. Hmm. Interesting. And entirely unlike the Detlef I know. See anything else? Hmm. Saw the moment when Detlef and Delacroix first met. Saw a moment. Delacroix did something selfless. Was kind to Detlef. Guess it could have been the start of their friendship. Why the uncertainty? Nothing extraordinary about it. Normal everyday situation, really. Visions were supposed to issue from strong emotions. Clearly the situation provoked such emotions in Detlef. Keep in mind, he did later murder Delacroix. Killing someone who's grown dear to us, it's bound to elicit strong emotion. Vampires are no different in that regard. Did you see anything else? Well, he did receive a note at some point, but we don't... Well, I can't read that at least, so... But indeed, it began and ended with a boot black. There that was little kid... Showed up twice in the vision. A boot black stand. Deadlove first met Delacroix there. Went back after the murder, actually. Peculiar. Stand was somewhere in the port district. And the boot black acted as if he knew Deadlaf. Mm. Yes, the little that would be even older. kid. Perhaps we should have a chat with the lad. Though I would expect no breakthroughs. It's our only lead. I'll go talk to him. Coming with. I shall join you later if it's no trouble. I don't yet feel strong enough to venture out. That's fair. Rest up. Be back as soon as I learn anything. Okay then. Take care, Regis. I uh, actually never really took a look around here. We leveled up again, so... Let's do that as well. So let's head to the fleet-footed. Damage from hits received while dodging is reduced by 100%. There we go, so we become, we become completely immune to damage while dodging. Loot regeneration potion formula. Huh. So we completed La Cage of Fu, which uh, clearly indicated the cage that uh, Regis put himself in. And we got a new marker, the Beauclair port. Uh, and now we'll check out the regeneration formula. Eight measures of vervain extract, Leshen Fang, Sankurum, Altantra, Brot made of young mandrake shoots. Grind the larger ingredients, add the smaller ones whole, boil everything in a bronze kettle using crystal water. Consume the mixture twice daily in half measure doses, do not exceed the recommended dosage. Huh. Interesting. Can we actually use that or not? I'm gonna quickly take a look around here as well. Biography of the Vampire Regis from the Quill of Dandelion. One of the most extraordinary individuals I have encountered during my numerous adventures at Geralt's side was a vampire known as Regis. To be precise, he was known as Emile Regis Rohelec Terzif Godefroy. By his own reckoning, he was 428 years old and was a descendant of unfortunate beings trapped in our world during the conjunction of the spheres. You are surely thinking, dear reader, about catacans, Alps and other such monsters and are pondering how it was that the Witcher, who, it must be admitted, is a slayer of monsters, came to keep such company. I must here explain that Regis was a higher vampire, a creature which physically does not differ all that much from a man. Higher vampires are also much more powerful than their wild confrères, and their regenerative abilities significantly outpace those of anything else you have encountered or can even imagine. But it is not because of this outer appearances his other appearances or inner strength that Regis became our dear companion. True, he could be pretentious and rather pompous in his frequent length per perorations, but one would be hard pressed to find in him the haughtiness usually present in higher beings. Regis valued human life dearly and refused to kill unless forced to do so. As he once confessed, higher vampires do not in fact need to drink blood at all in order to survive. They treat it somewhat as we treat alcohol. A rough grasp of his dy this dynamic might be given to you by the fact that, when we met him, Regis had been abstinent for years. He never revealed to us why he decided to join our search for Ciri. 
He had never met her before, nor did he live to see her. He died at Stick Castle during the battle against the mad mage Vilgefortz, who was responsible for the whole affair. He died for a cause which he surely did not fully understand, but he did it to defend those he held dear and simply because it was the right thing to do. I shall always remember him as a rural surgeon reeking of herbs that is now that is how he became to us that is how he came to us during our first encounter at the Fancare Necropolis, when he treated me and my companions to a fantastic brew he made from mandrake root. Wherever you are, my friend, bottoms up. So that's why it was so amazing that they brought him back in this uh, expansion, because he actually died in the books. Not the, a sign of that was uh, left to uh, the imagination that he would still survive. Arcadius Borovic lived to a ripe old age. In fact, he lived so long, he died of boredom. Okay then, so that's the grave of the man that lived here, uh, that died here. Well, they put his grave here. God damn it, I'm just fumbling all around here. There's another chest here. So ghoul's blood, nothing really interesting. Can I go? Or is this the way we came in? It probably is. Yeah, it looks, it looks like the way we came in. But I don't think I ever went in here to send you call officers stuff. Huh. Well, let's awaken the grave robber in our uh, hearts and steal everything there is in here. Can't reach that though. Oh, I can. Never mind. More crafting materials. And, and then there's this an illusory wall. Ooh. Interesting. What's this? A sword. Casus Foderis. Okay, and then... Grey armor die? Because yeah, in this uh, expansion we can actually dye our armor, our witcher gear, in a different color. So we might do that later on. A Knight's Oath. Here rests Sir Ramon of Guichon. On my grave you will not find a likeness of the man who once lived. I gave my heart, soul and body to the knightly craft and I wish to be remembered as a knight. The symbol of chivalry is a naked sword, and that symbol rests above me. The sword that defended my honor, my friends and my heart. The sword that was closer to me than my brother. The sword that was never stained by the blood of an innocent man, that had rest on this stone through the ages. Um, sorry, kinda took that away from you. Um, uh, I'm gonna check that out. Because it did have a peculiar name. Cases for Deris. Nothing... Ex well, it has a high amount of armor piercing, but that's about it. Uh, nothing especially strange about it. And we didn't find the... Well, we didn't find the trousers and the armor of the, uh, the Shamutna gear. Which is actually pretty good. And it actually is part of a relic set, apparently. So if we, if we wear three pieces of the set, we uh, get vitality from killing opponents. The amount of vitality restored equals 1% of the maximum vitality for each element of the set worn. That Currently that amount is 0%. Because we also got the face mask. Which I'm wondering where it is. There it is. Tesham Mutna Mask. And I can put that in the torch. And now we're actually wearing it. Which I shouldn't probably, because that's going to fuck up all of our conversation thingies. So let's remove the mask. And... I think I have time to... Uh, check up on that boot black so give me a minute and we'll see each other back at Beauclair so the Beauclair port marker we got was actually pretty close to where the boot black is because he should be right about here I think those are the two chairs right from the memory visit the boot black during his working hours what are his working hours boot blacks don't usually work nights need to come back during the day uh dude it's uh, daylight. Cleaning services price list. Okay, that's something I need to uh, read probably. Come a mess, leave well dressed. You'll see I'm the bleeding best. Okay then. Uh, it's daytime. I'll uh, meditate for two hours. There we go.
So how would you explain it? Whether it pours for a week or the sun bakes our pates, we've always mud up to our ankles here. You can't blame me for Beauclair's fickle weather. Fickle weather? I've seen you. You empty your chamber pot in front of our shop each morning, so folks will dirty their boots go to you to get them cleaned. A far-fetched conspiracy theory, sirs. I'll conspire to welt your bum with my belt. Come here. Leave him uh, alone. Leave him alone, indeed. Just who the spit are you? Took the words right out of, my, out of my mouth again. His father, a witcher, not your concern. A witcher. A witcher. And I'd advise you to go back where you came from. I thought witches defend men from monsters, not cheats from justice. Need to talk to the boy. You can chat to him all you like. After we tan his hide. So stand down. And no, we will not. Not gonna happen. Won't it? Well, then we'll thrash you as well. Which is all the same to me. Uh, uh, seriously? Jesus Christ, there we go again. Oh, I can't eat this time, so... Okay, we're doing pretty fine though. Take that one, because ah, he's almost down, there he goes. Okay, my armor just broke. Can't see shit in this place. Okay, that's one down. Punch him down. Yeah, okay, there we go. Those are always tough on that march. I mean, you don't have any of your other tools available, so... It's mano a mano. What's the meaning of this? The brawl? Who started it? I'm investigating the beast, on the Duchess's orders. Ah, yes. We've heard of you. And these men? What are they doing? They were harassing a little boy. <laughs> yeah, they made things difficult for me. Obstructing my investigation. Ooh. Understood. Right. A few days in the clink ought to teach them not to impede official Dutchy business. Come okay, on. don't hurt them too much. Since they were harassing a little kid, do? Okay, so now let's have a little talk. You're very good with your fists, sir. Wouldn't be looking for work, would you? We'd make a fine duo. Of course we would. What do you mean? Yeah, how you imagine that working? Splendidly. That's how. I suggest a partnership. Where I see to the boots while you stand guard, and as you're the stronger, come morning you take the chamber pot out and help me make muds. Bit about the muds true? They were right to want to box your ears. I've got to make a living somehow, so... Also what true. What say you, sir? Partners? Let me think about it. <laughs> Let me think about it. We need to ask you about a man named Detlaw. Listen, I'm interested in a certain gentleman. Oh, wait, wait! Before we get to talking, please, take a seat. What is he up to? But my boots are clean. In this city, no boots are clean unless they've just come off my stunt. A seat, sir, please. Well, fine then. Because I don't even have a, a choice in the matter. So then, who was it you wanted to ask about? One of your patrons. Tall, elegant black frock. Not from around here. An arrival? Hmm, indeed. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was uh, what this, where, where this was going. How much? Let's say... 500 crowns. What? what? Gotta be kidding me. What would you even do with that kind of coin? Expand my venture. I'm sure you can imagine. Have a proper stand with a big sign. I want a new box, too. 
new polishes, new brushes. And if I've enough coin left, I'll buy a share in a launderer's. Get wastewater for free. Hmm. <laughs> Got it all planned out. I should think so. Capital is all I require. Um, hmm. Well, I could, of course, use Axie, but that's... I mean, it's a little kid. I know he's trying to, to get my money out of my purse, but let's negotiate. All right. Let's see if we can't figure something out. Yeah, there we go. Knew that was going to come up. So let's take it down a notch to 300. Oh, I can't even go. Let's start 350 then, because it's 250 is the lower bounds. That's not even worth the spit I'd need to use to discuss it. Okay. 420 then? 25. Ah, see? I knew we'd catch Let's say it. all ignore the prostitute that just walked by. I'll pay. Guess I can agree to that. A thousand thanks. I shan't forget it. Now to the matter at hand. I know the fellow you seek, though I don't know his name. That's not a steady patron. Bad, because we know his it. Boots cleaned every few days. He's very good to me. Always pays me a premium. Know where I might find him? No, but you could wait here. Perhaps he'll stop by. Don't have the time for that. Sure, you don't know where to find him, or maybe notice which direction he came from. When I clean boots, sir. I do not look up to see where folk come from. I clean. It seems you're having a rough go of it. Oh, you're here. <laughs> Feeling better? I am. A vampire in the sunlight. The Acropolis. The air does wonders for me. Now, if I might intercede, I dare say I've the right question to ask. Young man, do you see this vial? One drop added to your boot polish will help you wipe even the most encrusted boot clean as the dome of St. Lebioda's Cathedral. With it? You will serve three times as many patrons at a fraction of the effort, and piles more coin. I'm prepared to give you this vial if you tell me where the man we seek lives. Uh, but you won't hurt him, will you? The gentleman's art true, but he's kind. In point of fact, he's a friend. Yet we had a falling out of sorts and would like to straighten matters out. I leave his boots at the door of a house near the port. The door is red. But I do not know if the gentleman lives there. Worth checking. Might happen on a lead. Would you let me scrape the dirt off your kickers before you go? With all due respect, sirs, your boots could stand a cleaning. Thank you. Perhaps later. There you go. Goodbye, kid. And thanks for all the help. Uh, my armor does need fixing. I that kid pretty well. Finding the right approach. That's the trick to dealing with children. Mm, yeah, saw that. Meaning, the right thing to bribe them with. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna repair my armor first. Because if we suddenly have to fight that lot again, that would be uh, a bit of a problem. I'm also gonna take a little break, so uh, next time I'm gonna continue our investigation to uh, find that lot again. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you uh, enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give it a thought to subscribe to my channel, because I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give me. So thanks again enormously for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video series. Goodbye!